too bright a tie Cause I'm low on the phone, you see So I talk till I drop, you see How could I have a heart made of stone white? Oh, when we synchronize It's exactly what I thought when I fantasize Playing games with my mind, making us collide And we know how it goes when we're out at night And I don't know What advice would you give to people, young men, young women that are looking to follow in your footsteps? My biggest advice is just, you know, go for it. If you really, really want something, if that's your dream, that's your passion, there's nothing in, in the world that should be able to hold you back. So if you're willing to make the sacrifices, absolutely do it. Well, I love that attitude. And I can tell you that we are all excited to watch you compete with Mavs Gaming this season. Best of luck, Zaya, and you're always welcome back on 2K TV when you break some ankles out there. A look from above the incredible City Hall building here at our broadcast location tonight, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Well, among the league's deadlier weapons now is the step-back jumper. Steph Curry said, you're always in control of the situation with that move. It is pretty effective. Portland's Damian Lillard said, it's a tough off-balance shot, so it takes a lot of work. But people around the league are putting in that work to become even more effective. Guys? Thanks, David. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Ben Simmons. His effective field goal percentage, a favorite stat of the analytics crowd, has been on the way down over his past 10 games. His game isn't as well-rounded as it needs to be. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Morant now in at the guard spot. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Brooks in at the three. And for Philadelphia, Harrison and Bede together in the middle. 
Curry is out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Green in at the small forward position. Greg, if your system overall for these teams, if the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason, or in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's never easy. Uh, a system change would come typically with a coaching change, and the reality is you also have to evaluate the roster, and, and you can't fit that square peg into a round hole. Whatever your system is, it's got to be catered to the personnel you have. You can't go the other way around, and I think that's what separates oftentimes the good coaches from the great ones. A precision passer, Curry, also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. Memphis with the ball. And that one's good, Morant just reliable guys he's just always trying to make the right play Simmons finds green Harris with it Simmons looking it over good and Harris gets the assist Simmons got his second bucket of the night tell you what does not matter what the defense throws his way the heart of Simmons allows him to play through that and he's still going to knock the shot down and what an incredible shot in the arm for this franchise. The opportunity to draft a potential superstar in Ja Morant, and they had only a 6% chance of landing that number two overall pick. good from Morant. They've had a lot of good players come through Memphis over the years, GA, but probably no one with Morant's upside. He has future league MVP potential. Once the three-point shot is consistent, once he cuts back on the turnovers, I just don't know how you stop him. Now here's Green. Back to Simmons. And the rejection by Valanciunas. They kick it out to Green. Good on the three-point shot. Hey, he's amongst the best shooters in the game, and Green is not a creator. We know that. He's a finisher. He works extremely well off the pass. Cans it from downtown. Morant's got eight points. Red hot so far. Four for four. Cooking with gas. Couldn't draw it up any better. Simmons passes to Embiid. He dishes it to Green. Pass to Simmons. Harris kicks to Simmons. Five to shoot. Pass to Embiid. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. You got to recognize Simmons is a pass first guy, which is why you can't leave somebody open around. Him. And finished off by Morant. Oh, nice there. Getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. A jaw-dropper emoji is what I look like right now. Incredible. Now here's Simmons. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Boy, a large frame and nimble feet and great strength allow MB to be bully-balling guys down low. Outside, Simmons. Knocked loose. Stolen by Anderson. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Outside, Simmons. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. Really can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. I mean, his confidence just rises when he slams it down like that. Now, here's Morant for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. 13 points in the game. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Out to the right wing. Back to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Boy, the floor awareness and passing ability of MB, very impressive. And he continues to grow as a passer. And that one's good, Morant. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Outside, Green, back to Simmons. Poked away. Morant against Simmons. 
They get it back. Valanciunas. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Now here's Simmons. Eight points for him. Harris passes to Embiid. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Here's Anderson. Again, Memphis. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for Memphis? Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Harris's shot is good. And I like that they're not settling, hitting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now here's Simmons, following the miss by John ja Morant. Curry can't get it to go. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And finished off by Morant. Yeah, when Morant gets it dialed up, he can be unstoppable. Just too many ways to score. The 76ers trail by eight. Down low. And Simmons gets it to go on the assist by MB. Simmons got 10 points in the game. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. And how about the defensive impact Embiid has on the floor? He's a great rim protector who can swipe an errant pass every so often. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he's just so big. He's mammoth. I mean, he's not only tall and long. He's deep, too. He's a thick guy. So he's an excellent rim protector. Discourages inside attempts at a high rate. Um, clogs up the paint. That length is a huge asset. And then his foot movement. His, his agility for a guy of his size is pretty impressive, too. A moment now to look at the numbers for Valanciunas. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. First in rebounding. And with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands and he converts at a remarkable rate. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds. What a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Simmons. Ten points for him. Embiid, the pass to Simmons. Again, Philadelphia. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. And then Simmons slams it in. Yeah, and you know, for Simmons to be so young, he has a great basketball IQ, and he plays to his strengths on offense and plays to him well. And it's Morant missing. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by six. You know, one of the basic fundamentals in basketball is the ability to box out. He's got that down pat. Here's Valanciunas. No good on that one. And Philadelphia the other way now to the paint and here comes Harris leading the fast break moving it around eight of their last ten coming off assists you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court now here's Allen he picked up 15 points in their last win against the 76ers in Philadelphia yeah but I like how he defended as well you know he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort Bucket is good. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. 
and they proved it that game. And the 76ers with some changes. Howard's checked in for Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for Green. And it's Shake Milton in for Curry. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Bain, good on the triple. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. From outside the arc, it's Clark with the rebound. Some solid defense from Harris. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Great timing and recognition as Howard is able to go up for the alley-oop. Jones for three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Now here's Milton. He's covered closely. Here's Harris. Second chance shot. And Howard with the lay-in. Howard's got his second basket of the game. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies. To oh, oh, my yeah. goodness. Oh, yeah. What a Gracious. play. And Simmons is extremely versatile and effective two-way player, guys, who can hurt you on both ends. Took him no time at all on that one. Five points in the game. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. And the basket by Harris. Memphis leading by four. There's Winslow. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And boy, are they attacking the paint. They sure are looking to get their buckets up close and personal. The Grizzlies have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Maxie's checked in. Greg, we have a league of many great playmakers, don't we? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Le LeBron James is obvious. You know, he played point guard technically for the first time last season, but he's always been a forward general. You, you look at a young man like John Morant, and he's been on the attack since day one when he hit the league. And there's so many more of those guys that are having an impact, understanding the value of that lead guard position. It is fun to watch. It is so fun to watch. I agree. Winslow's shot is off. The 76ers trail by five. Bible on the wing. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And now here comes Jones leading the break. From deep, hits the three-point bomb. Jones has got his second bucket of the night. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Fades and shoots. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Harris has got 10 points in the game. How about five of six to start? Looks like he brought his A game. And, you know, this is a definite strength of Howard's game. I think he's a rim protector of an elite level. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. On defense, the 76ers. Six-point game for three. 
And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Milton. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Bain. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. The pass to Howard. On the wing, Milton. Howard trying to free himself up. Harris. He gets it in there. 12 points for him. Somebody came to play tonight. Six out of his first seven. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. They lead by seven. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia, where they were able to handle the 76ers. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That is his first foul of the game. George Hills checked in for the 76ers. George Hill. 41 seconds left to play here in the first. Bain nailed from three-point land. And the Grizzlies lead by eight. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Hill looking it over. Out in his own on the break. Bain throws down the breakaway jam. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. Here's Hill. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. And now the Grizzlies, fast break. And then Clark slams it in. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. Back right after this. And we spoke with Joel Embiid earlier. He hopes to set an example for those who want to follow in his footsteps. Being from Africa, uh, at the end of the day, you come here, you want to make an impact and, you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so he kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. Well said. Certainly, Greg Embiid puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the floor. And this is where his big personality helps. He has a larger-than-life quality that really just captivates people. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, the Grizzlies enjoying a nice lead here. Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Winslow is out there with Clark. Then it's Tyus Jones. And it's Tillman in at the five. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Now, John Morant says in an era of five-star recruits, he was a no-star recruit coming out of high school. And that put that big chip on his shoulder. Now he has beneath no one tattooed on his arm. And he says, my dad always told me that I was trained to go. 
basically that I'm built for the moment. And guys, his time is now. Sure is, DA. Thank you. Outside Hill. Harris outside. The three-pointer no good. And the Grizzlies leading by 13. Here's Clark, and he uses the glass on the layup. Clark's got eight points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Got a hand on it. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. Off the inbound. And it's Howard finishing it off. Howard determined to punish the rim and scare off defenders when he gets inside. Watch out now. And the rejection by Embiid. Milton with it. 14 points from him, the last game against Memphis. And the dunk by MB. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Boy, he makes it look easy. He is an absolutely imposing finisher around the rim. And the 76ers with some changes. Green comes in for Shake Milton. And it's Seth Curry in for Maxey. Memphis also making some changes. Anderson, he's checked in for Clark. Grayson Allen comes in for Winslow. And it's John Morant in for Tyus Jones. Brooks tries again. And Morant will lay it in. Morant's got 22. An awesome rebounder at that position. The energy level Morant puts forth on the glass is tremendous. Anderson with the block. It's Allen on the wing, guarded by Kerr. Allen, that's good. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball. It's stolen by Allen. And here we go with Allen running it up the court. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. The 76ers trail by 17. It's stolen by Allen. And it's Allen slamming it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stump. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Game continues to evolve, Greg. Any changes in particular that you do not like? Mm. That's a, a great question. You know, I, I'd like to see the replay review uh, streamlined a little bit better. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind a touch more physicality uh, uh, being allowed in the game, but as much as we tend to complain, the one thing I have learned is if you're honest, you go back, we always complain. I don't care what the era is. <laughs> nobody's ever truly happy, and I'm not going to spend all my time worrying about that stuff, partner. I'm just going to enjoy the game that we are all so fortunate enough to be able to watch. Totally agree. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. Playoff seating so important here as we take a look out east. 
You take a look at the 76ers. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And seeing where the 76ers are, they have caught the entire league off guard. This was not a position anyone thought they'd be in at this stage of the season. And the credit belongs to them for what they did and didn't do during the offseason. I mean, they had a vision, they set it out, and they've stayed true to it. Morant drives in, and good that time. Morant's got six here in this quarter. The handle and the acceleration. Morant moves around the court with the ball on a string. It's Curry outside. Buries it from three-point range. Curry's got five. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. 76ers foul. White Howard. That's his first personal foul. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far, sitting right around 76%. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year, but not really enough to raise any red flags or to become alarmed about it. That's good from Morant. And as good as Morant's been, there's still plenty of upside. One of the younger players to enter the draft in 2019. And so he makes both from the line. The 76ers trail by 20. Simmons passes to Embiid. Dishes it to Green. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Inside. And Simmons slams it in. Oh, and never shy about getting to that rack. Simmons so aggressive playing downhill. Nice dunk there. And you rarely see the vision and playmaking of Ben Simmons in someone that size. That you can put him up there with Magic, LeBron, and Penny Hardaway in terms of those taller playmakers. Yeah, you're spot on there, Greg. I mean, he's unique, really unique and gifted in that regard. And with all great passers, there are a couple of things they do well. One is they see a play or two ahead. They anticipate and throw the ball where it should be going, anticipating that. And the other thing is the timing with which they make their passes. It's usually right at the right time, the opportune time for a teammate to score on the catch. Trains the three-pointer. Green, right back at you with that three. Brooks, that's a two-pointer. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And the Grizzlies lead by 18. Passes to Howard. Embiid is at the elbow. The dish to Curry. Howard trying to free himself up. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Embiid. Curry's got seven. That's Curry's shot there. I mean, he's out there to catch and fire away when he's got room. Connects from three-point range. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. Simmons passes to Embiid. Curry against Allen. Back to Embiid. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John ja Morant. That's his first foul. Matisse Thibault checked in for Dwight House. Pass to Green. Now, here's Thibel. Five on the clock. Embiid trying to break loose. The layup off target. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Simmons passes to Embiid. The feed to Curry. That's good, and it's his fourth yeah, basket out, of the out. game. He's a strong four for six. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Now a timeout called by Memphis. 
Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about I, I actually averaged more points in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. Here's a look at some stats for John Morant. He's really stood out for them over the past month. Putting up about 18 points per, seven assists, and three rebounds. And you can't help but be impressed by his numbers. You know, guys, I think he's the engine of this offense. He makes them go. Without his scoring, I think they'd be a totally different team. The 76ers trailed by 19. Curry deciding where to go with it. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Allen. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And when you get this kind of shooting from him, 100% from the field, they're going to be tough to beat. The Grizzlies have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. And comparing to the numbers of last season, They've made a bit of improvement, so that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. Free throw, good, Allen. And here's Simmons, he'll bring it up for the 76ers. They come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down and really the story of the game. And, you know, that's a big part of how they attack and win, getting it going from the three-point line. But at the end of the day, it didn't happen. Tipped away. Brooks with it. Picked up by Harris. By himself. And then Morant slams it in. Yeah, that's fire right there. Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. Philadelphia's gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. To the middle, here's Embiid. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. What a play there, the hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there, he didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim, knew he was going to get hit, and still was able to finish. One shot. The free throw drops for Embiid. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with his play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. Count that one. Moran's got 38 points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Outside for Simmons. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Simmons got six here in this quarter. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. And here is Simmons. He's got 22. Again, Philadelphia. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Memphis in total control. Here's Brooks, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. 
Maxi's checked in for the 76ers. Bain and block. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Simmons, knocked away. It's stolen by Jones. And again, Memphis running the court in transition. It's blocked, and that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Bain defended by Feibel. Maybe that great start in the first quarter took something out of him because his production has fallen off. In the first quarter, he was killing them from outside. But he can't get it going here. Memphis has gone three or four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Jones, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Greg, if you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this era at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that, more than anything, allows for the true skill and artistry of the game to be on display. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to get switched onto MB down low. <laughs> that, that wouldn't, I would probably dislike that and let it be known vociferously. But, but, I, but I always pictured you as being fearless, like you would never turn down that kind of challenge. I wouldn't turn it down publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Simmons passes to Thibel. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got six assists now in the game. Bain, Clark trying to get open. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. Knocks down the three ball. No matter what the circumstance, he seems very comfortable letting it fly. Philadelphia's gone 4-6 from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Pass to Embiid. This one for three. Tillman grabs the miss. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Jones finds Winslow. Simmons with the defensive effort. The 76ers shooting nearly 70% from the floor. They are putting on a clinic offensively. A nice shot by Embiid. Oh, man, how about the last-minute decision there to pull the shot down and get a better one for your teammate? Here's Tillman, guarded by Harris. Here's Philadelphia. Axie passes to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. So skilled at maneuvering his way to the cup. Embiid's mobility, extremely impressive for a guy of his size. Now Harris. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Memphis. And there really was a physical aspect of his performance that was off the charts. He was taking it right at him, and he just kept getting those calls and getting to the line. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. The Grizzlies shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. That's good from Winslow. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Hill comes in for Matisse Thibel. Good on both. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. To the inside, 
Go in the jam by Embiid. Boy, this big guy, Joel Embiid, is a center with an awesome dunking arsenal. Now the pass to Maxi. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Hill against Jones. Over Hill. And another miss by Memphis. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Jonas, you guys got off to a strong start. How important was it to set the tone early? You know, we came out with a different energy. He said it's enough to struggle from the start. You know, we got to focus and play good starts. That is where it all starts. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all John ja Morant in the first quarter. He had 40 points, three assists, and one rebound. And Shaq, a team that used to be known for its grit and grind style, Memphis starting to amass high-profile superstar prospects. Yeah, John ja Morant is flash and substance. Great leader makes everyone around him better. Yeah, you know, Darren Jackson Jr., coach child for the modern-day big, you know, can stretch the floor and guard everyone at every position. This is a good team. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Harrison and Bede together in the middle. Ben Simmons is out there with Curry, and it's Green in at the small four. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Hey, once MB catches the hot hand now, he's looking to shoot it as much as he can. Here's Moran. Oh, oh, oh my three. goodness! That was special! Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And guys, it's going to be a long time before we see another one just like that. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. The three from Morant. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his eighth rebound here tonight. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Drops in the tray. Oh, great ball movement there. And the Grizzlies leading by 15. The three from Morant. Rebound by the 76ers. And Beach got six rebounds here tonight. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. 
big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, but he has a long time to figure it out. He could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. That free throw missing. I tell you, Joel Embiid possesses remarkable talent. I mean, this big guy is graceful and strong. He's a real matchup problem for everybody. And he's good on the second. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Allen for the three, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Curry with a wide open look. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got 10 assists here tonight, so active. And so Morant will bring it up for the Grizzlies. 13 point lead, bangs home the trifecta. Allen Junis has got five now. And an eye for an eye, both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Shot, high post. Nice jump shot. Good. Curry's got five points in the quarter. I like seeing Seth Curry be assertive on offense, consistently looking for a shot. That one good for two. No, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. Harris outside. to Simmons he dishes it to Embiid doesn't go for him and it's Memphis the other way Allen for three and again it's Memphis with the three and he can take over in a nanosecond I mean once he catches fire it's difficult to squelch it Curry outside and the 76ers get it back good on the bucket Embiid's got 23 yeah, MB plays with really good effort, and he plays with an effervescence that's contagious, and it's really endearing for a guy of his size. Timeout called, the Grizzlies. And Philadelphia making a change here. Howard's checked in. And now here are the 2K leaderboard. Since the All-Star break, these teams are leading the NBA in second chance points. Number one, the Grizzlies. And offensive rebounding, always a point of emphasis for this group. But for whatever reason, they've had particular success since the break, really just outworking their opponents on the glass. That's one he knows he should have drained. Outside for Simmons. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Simmons got four points now in the quarter. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Allen for the three. That one's off, but a great shooting night overall as he is 10 of 12, 83% from the floor. Elbow. Two. 
And this will be his second and third shots of the line here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And, fellas, I, I think you have to like his improvements over Take his break. free throw numbers from Too a year soft. ago. It's not a significant number or, or a huge amount, but it's improvement nonetheless. Free throw, good, Allen. And he makes both free throws. The 76ers trail by 17. Curry passes to Howard. Here's Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. And, you know, I think this is exactly what you want Howard to do. I mean, when somebody's open, show that you're willing to give the ball up. Here's Morant. And, ooh, he just jams it right over Dwight Howard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Ugh, look at him punish that rim. Boy, the guy's on the bench loving every minute of that one. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Why Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. D.A., thank you. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anderson. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Harris passes to Howard. Outside, Green. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. Howard's got his fifth assist in this one. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for him. Curry's shot is good. Hey, when Seth Curry sees holes in the defense, he pounces on them. A three from Morant. It's good from long range. Morant's got 49 points in the game. Don't underestimate him. He can knock that down. Morant with the steal. From downtown. And got it. Another basket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Simmons passes to Curry from past the arc. Another three for Philadelphia. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. And Valanciunas penetrating. He gets that one. Valanciunas has got seven points in the game. At seven feet, Valanciunas' size comes in handy from there, especially when he's under heavy pressure. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Here's Allen. Buries it down low. That's 28 points for Allen. Sometimes you just wonder, how did Morant see that guy? The vision is special. Simmons dishes to Green. Simmons passes to Green. Here's Howard. And now a quick review at the numbers for Allen. He's averaging 10 points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. And there isn't much to write home about with his numbers. I think he'd like to up his contributions. Yeah, but you got to earn that chance. I mean, you get what you earn. His numbers are fine, but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch. The first free throw is good. And when you think of Howard, defense and rebounding immediately comes to mind. I mean, he knows his role and plays it pretty well. Some changes for Philadelphia. 
Matisse Thibels checked in for Green. Shake Milton comes in for Curry. And Maxi subbed in for Ben Simmons. No good on the second free throw. And the Grizzlies leading by 18. Here's Clark. Offensive rebound. Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And it's not everybody who needs hops to finish at the rim. Valanciunas just needs to be in timeout, arm's timeout. length of the bucket to throw it down. Timeout called the 76ers. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. He's on another level right now. Knocking down threes left and right. The defense isn't doing their job, and I think they've got to talk about it quickly. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Brandon Clark. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The, the points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustments. Back to Howard. Harris trying to get free, and the shot is good. You know, showing flashes of his old self here. I mean, when Howard finds that rhythm, he feels like nobody can stop him, and he's right. And it's Morant missing. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. And Tobias Harris, a crusader for a cause that isn't talked about too much, he has a huge concern about sleep deprivation and the effects it has on athletes. Yeah, you know what, Greg, while it's not talked about a lot, it is gaining ground in all kinds of circles, particularly in the world of sports, the whole sleep deprivation idea. And Harris is a guy who's conscientious and thoughtful. Um, I love the fact that he's bringing this to his teammates' attention because it's critical. And um, he's certainly passionate about it. We'll see how much um, wind it gets with him speaking up on it. Now, here's Thibel. Passes it to Maxi. All alone. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Maxi's got his third basket of the night. It's Morant with the drop. And he gets it to go. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Here's Maxi. He's got seven. Just five on the clock. Harris's shot is off. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And it's Morant missing. The 76ers trail by 18. Pass to Maxi. Tries a three. And Winslow pulls it down. Banked in off the glass. Winslow's got four points in the quarter. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Picked away. Clark with a wide open look. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Grizzlies. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. Yeah, and another thing, they, they've created a lot of turnovers, but they've also been able to convert when they've gotten down in transition.
Now let's bring up the 2K leaderboard. Here are the top rebounders over the last month. Jonas Valanciunas, number one. He must be spending a lot of time in the weight room because he's shown such strength okay. under the break. basket. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And the 76ers with some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for Howard. And George Hills subbed in for Matisse Thibel. He makes one of two that time. The 76ers trail by 21. Hill with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Here's Maxi. Harris trying to get free. Can't get it to go. He's made four and just missed his fourth. Jones for three. Hill with some nice D. And Embiid has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Milton. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Milton's got four points now in the quarter. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. A minute 20 left in the third. Jones has gotten half of his 10 shots to fall. Five makes from the field so far. Hill passes to Harris. Over Clark. Harris, good. Harris has got 18 points. Well, he's an elite shooter with a lot of sweet spots. Defenses have to mark and keep an eye on Harris from mid-range. Sinks the triple. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. To the wing on the left, from 15 feet away, and Embiid the bucket on the assist from Tobias Harris. Embiid's got 10 points here in the second half. Second shot opportunity. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And you can see that rebounding is a focus for Clark, using that big body to his advantage there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Anderson's checked in. One shot. The potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. To the middle. Here's Harris. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Hill's got four assists now tonight. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Launches a three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Winslow's got eight here in the quarter. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. And that one, good. 23 points in the game. Yeah, taking it right into the teeth of the defense. And, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. The three from Hill. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's the Grizzlies opening up a huge gap. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights.
And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth, they've got McDermott. He's out there with Anderson. And it's Tillman in at the five, roaming the paint. And here is Hill. McDermott with a steal. Here's Tillman. Yeah, good energy and awareness that time by MB to deny that shot. And that one's good. Korkmaz. Korkmaz has got his first two points of the night. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Bain. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Pass to Maxi. Uncovered. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got his fourth rebound in this one. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, I love the way he's fighting through box outs, using his elbows. I mean, he's doing whatever it takes. Greg, you played against uh, some terrific players, including the, the late, great Kobe Bryant. I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on playing against Kobe. I mean, his passing is still tough, I'm sure, for many to deal with because he was just taken from us at such a young age. Uh, but this guy was a ferocious competitor and someone who showed us in life and in tragedy uh, that you need to make the most of every moment that we have here. You know, I just appreciate it to really the fans getting to know Kobe once his career was over because I think he was able to let his guard down a little bit and show us a lighter side, a more compassionate side. That is an excellent point. Nice job that time from Hill drawing the foul. His quick release is really hard to catch up with on defense. And he knocks down the first one. And in my opinion, Hill is simply one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. While he's not that tall, he's got exceedingly long arms, and he does a great job using that length to dissuade passes and to challenge shots. Both free throws good from Hill. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. A lot of talk about receding in the playoffs when you got down to the final four teams. If it ensures the two best teams make the finals, it would seem to me, Greg, to be worth it. What about you? You know, it could be. I think about the, the worldwide attention on that championship round, but you got to get the Eastern Conference teams to sign off on that. And, you know, we've seen it happen in the past where the, the power shifts from one conference to the other. But ultimately, nothing better than seeing the two best teams play for it all. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Green, he's checked in for Mike Scott. Seth Curry comes in for Korkmaz. And Simmons subbed in for George Hill. And the Grizzlies leading by 22. Allen for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. From the arc. They get it again. Crops in the layup for two. And Beads got 12 points here in the second half. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. To stop the drought, drills it from outside. 
He's got 26. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. A lot of big decisions have fallen on Adam Silver's shoulders, the commissioner of the NBA. And Greg, I think you and I agree by all accounts he has succeeded with flying color. I mean, wouldn't you agree? No doubt about it. I mean, I, I don't know that you could have had a better person for the times. Uh, Adam Silver is to be commended, but I think also appreciated, not just from the players and the owners, but I think our fans should also appreciate who he is as a person. Uh, I, I've often said that commissioners typically uh, work for the owners. He's the one commissioner, no matter the sport, that I've always felt like was a partner of the players as well. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. At the line for your 76ers, Isaiah Joe. At the line for two. Two shots. And the first one drops. Morant, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. He's perfect from the line this time. Memphis leading by 20. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Simmons passes to Embiid. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Poked loose. Stolen by Allen. And oh, here we go. Brooks got it. The fast break chance. And finished off by Morant. And at 6-3, Morant sure can fly. Love when he gets up and throws it down. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Knocks it loose. Morant with the steal. For the finish. Another one goes. Incredible. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. The pass to Embiid. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Brandon Clark. And at 250 LBs, Embiid is a terror inside. Using that large frame to draw those fouls. The free throw drops for MB. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the games, whether it's verbal or, or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected and respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die from a life standpoint, and we don't want to have things escalate. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Here's Simmons. He kicks it to Embiid. That one doesn't drop. Now Memphis takes it the other way. On its way from Clark for two. And another basket for Memphis. And when Clark is on fire, he stays aggressive. You got to love how this young fella is willing to dominate games. Back to Simmons. 
And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one's on Morant. Ben Simmons. Two shots. And he makes the first. You know, you look at Ben Simmons, and the thing that jumps out to me is his all-around game. I mean, it's absolutely terrific. Um, he's a stat sheet stuffer supreme. Jones checked in for Memphis. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the league taking steps to discourage teams, Greg, from tossing away seasons in search of high draft picks. Has enough been done, you think, in that regard? You can, we'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the idea of a play-in tournament a tough one, isn't it? Oh, for the last a few playoff spots, I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, yeah. It might keep more teams in the hunt down the stretch. Uh, and I think the onus also, if the fans put enough pressure on their teams to try to develop what they have and not always put it on the future, uh, I, I think that's going to help. But I, I think you're going to always have a little bit of that moving forward. A nice shot by Embiid. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Memphis has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Yet another bucket. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Passes it to Thibault. He feeds it to Harris. A second chance effort, and he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Hey, folks, there's no substitute for passion, and I love the passion of Simmons. I'm taking great pride in how he rebounds the basketball. Shooting one. And with the frequency of three-point shots skyrocketing, Greg, does the drastic change concern you? And should something be done to, to lessen the dependence these teams have on threes? It's crazy. I mean, we're starting to see teams take more threes than twos. You know, some have said maybe limit fouls on three-pointers to only two free throws. Uh, that might eliminate some of the flopping on those long-range attempts, but I really feel like this is the evolution of the game, and that three is going to be vital. Find the lane. Shake Milton, Find the he's lane. checked in for Philadelphia. One shot. Free throw, good, Allen. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth, right around 46, 47 percent. And the shot goes in. Curry's got four points this quarter. And when Seth Curry gets hot like this, that basket just continues to expand. You got to keep feeding him if he's this hot. Allen's shot is off. And here's Curry who brings it up for the 76ers. Here's Thibel. The Grizzlies pull it in. 
Winslow's got his fourth rebound in this one. Grant, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. And Embiid gets it to go. That is super efficient, getting in deep and then taking advantage. The three from Morant, and he's good on the three ball. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Here's Milton. Basket good. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. And I love that range there from Clark. At this point in his development, it's not as daunting as trying to be a consistent three-ball shooter. Now, here's Thibel. Covered by Winslow. Goes back up. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Allen against Embiid. Puts one up from 19. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Pass to Harris. Here's Thibel. Count it. Good. Memphis has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. Here's Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. Boy, Joel Embiid with the throwdown. Athletic, seven feet tall, one of the best dunkers in the league. Here's Morant. Misses off the right iron. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Inside. Curry, good. Time Curry's out, time got out. 25 points. So good at figuring out ways Pardon? to get inside. Seth Curry working on improving this part of his game. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Hey Clark, how about the 20th pick back in that 2019 draft? Matisse Thibel fantastic defensive specialist who has an evolving offensive presence as well. Yeah, you're right, Greg. His defense is really outstanding and NBA ready from the day he got into the league. He'll improve on offense. You know that. He'll work at it and he'll get better. I think he has tremendous instincts on and off the ball. Great length and speed and athleticism. He's a terror defensively. Now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, John ja Morant. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. And at last, he gets a little redemption. You know, it's been several games since he's been at his best. He's really been having a tough time. Memphis leading by 23. And again, Memphis no good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And Embiid throws it down. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Yeah, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. And that one's good, Morant. And you can see the confidence Morant possesses. He's fine testing his luck with the quick pull-up, Jay. Pass to Harris. Pulls it up. Alan Junis grabs the board. 
Memphis has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Baseline J on the way, and the Grizzlies tack on two more. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Yeah, he's been hooping, but the rest of the team, not so much. Alan Junis, good. Terrific dime there. Yes. Morant realizing his responsibility to share the wealth with his teammates. Simmons passes to Curry. And here's MB. Harris trying to get free. And we always talk about making your teammates better. That assist was right on target. Here's Morant. And good. He hits it again. 71 points and no end in sight. Young fella is in the zone. The defense right now looks helpful. And Simmons slams it in. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for the Grizzlies. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. And through consistent adjustments in this season series, they're going to come away with another victory here tonight, completing a 3-0 sweep for the year against Philadelphia. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for John Morant. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. Good work there as it goes. Embiid's got 45 points. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points. And another one. He is simply unconscious here tonight. Nobody can stop him right now. GA, the points keep coming, and he's climbing up that scoring ladder. Third on the list, well in sight. And Will Chamberlain holds both the first and third place scoring marks. First, of course, for 100 points, and third place all time with 78. Anytime Wilt's name comes up, you are making history. Here's Allen. Clark trying to get open. Got a piece of it. Back to Morant. Six to shoot. The 19-footer is on the money. And the Grizzlies lead by 21. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good, you know, uh, there is a better game, there is a worse game, but, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game, I'm fighting, and uh, my job is take rebounds, set a screen, so I'm doing a good job. It's grunt work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olney, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.